You're looking at the American-made rocket and spacecraft that will return American astronauts to the International Space Station from American soil for the first time since the retirement of the space shuttle last flown nearly nine years ago. Now, the Dragon capsule is already pressurized, so even in the vacuum of space, the crew is safe when inside of Dragon, but in the unlikely event of an anomaly that causes the capsule to depressurize, we can actually flow oxygen or nitrox into the suit and that will keep the astronauts pressurized in flight. So that's its main purpose. So it's that, that form and function and uh, some style there as well. Yep. And we are looking at a live picture now of Bob Benkin and Doug Hurley walking down that hallway in the astronaut crew quarters. We just saw Doug wave at the screen and they're just turning the corner, getting inside that elevator. And there the doors are opening. Here they come. And there they are, NASA astronauts. <laughs> Small crowd, but big cheers. NASA astronauts, Bob Benkin and Doug Hurley, Doug on the left, Bob on the right, waving to the crowd there to cheer them on. <laughs> and there are their families right in front of them. Like this candle, I agree. Watch America. Bye, guys. There's our hangar. We process Falcon Heavy in there. There are other boosters in that hangar as well. And the rocket and dragon that is on the pad right now was put together, or rather final, uh, finally integrated inside of that hangar and then rolled out to that pad to go up vertical. And there it is. That, uh, that shot really gives you a sense of the scale of the Falcon 9 rocket. Those Teslas look teeny, teeny, tiny, <laughs> uh, making their way up there. Yeah, really cool watching the Teslas pull up driving on the launch pad just a few feet away from the vehicle. This is awesome and getting really excited over here. Core on Compound 1 at 2 hours 57 minutes. The crew has arrived at the pad on schedule. There they are, taken, taken in the site, um, craning to see the top of the Falcon 9 rocket. It's uh, 230 feet tall if you round up. And then Crew Dragon is another 27 feet from the bottom of the trunk to the top of the nose cone. So um, if you're, when you're out there in person, it's, it's, it's really hard to describe just how, how large it is. So as you can see, they have already arrived uh, at pad 39A where Falcon 9 will lift off from at 3.22 p.m. Eastern time today. Core on Countdown 1 at T minus 2 hours and 46 minutes. The crew has arrived at the White Room. Its ingress is in progress on schedule. And as they climb into Dragon, they will buckle themselves in and attach their umbilicals to their suits. And as you can see, the suit techs are there to help them see the seats slowly start to rotate. Again, they're in this down position just to make it easier to climb in and out of Dragon. They'll rotate to this launch position to put their backs a little bit more parallel to the ground. It makes taking the G-Force a little bit easier for the crew on the way uphill, but most importantly, positions those touchscreens directly in front of them, which is just their gateway into Dragon. Dragon, SpaceX, seats are in the launch position. We copy. SpaceX, Dragon, we're go for launch. Let's light this candle. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Lift off of the Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon. Go NASA. Go SpaceX. Godspeed, Bob and Doug. America has launched. So rises a new era of American space flight, and with it the ambitions of a new generation continuing the dream. 20 seconds into flight, stage one propulsion is nominal.
plus 30 seconds into this historic mission. Flying crew on board Dragon and Falcon 9 and look at them go. Falcon power telemetry nominal. M1D throttle down. We're throttling down to get ready for the period of maximum dynamic pressure. We're in the throttle bucket. Reports say all systems are go. Vehicle is supersonic. We've exceeded Mach 1 on the Falcon 9. M1D throttle up. We're throttling back up to full power as we're through Max Q. Copy one Bravo. We heard that one Bravo call out. That's just the second aboard zone that they're in. They'll continue to be on this until the first stage has done its job and they switch over to the second. At this point, Bob and Doug pulling about 2.3 Gs, 2.3 times the Earth's gravity, already moving at over 1,500 miles per hour. We've heard the call out for MVAC engine chill. That's getting the MVAC engine ready to light. That'll come at about 2.44 into flight. Right now, everything continuing to look good. Next major event coming up is going to be the triple. We'll have main engine cutoff of the nine first stage engines, stage separation, and then ignition of the second stage engine to continue to carry astronauts into orbit. Coming up in about 20 seconds. M M1D throttle down. We heard we're throttling down the Merlin engines on the first stage. And we have Miko. Miko. Two Alpha. Falcon stage separation confirmed. Copy two Alpha. MVAC ignition. We have stage separation confirmed, the first stage beginning its flight back, the second stage being powered by that single Merlin 1D vacuum engine has ignited and is now carrying Bob and Doug into orbit. So they're going to continue under the power of this second stage. Stage two propulsion is nominal. Which will cut off at Seco, or second engine cut off at about 8 minutes and 44 seconds into today's flight. So a little over 5 minutes to go still on this second stage. We heard the call out to Alpha, so they're now in the longest aboard zone that carries them all the way from about North Carolina up the eastern seaboard, almost to Canada. Yep, on your right screen, you can see that first stage with the grid fins deployed. It's making its way back to attempt to land on our drone ship. Of course, I still love you today. Stage one entry burn started. And there is that entry burn beginning. This burn lasts about 36 seconds long. Stage two FTS is saved. Now we are waiting for our first stage to make its way to our drone ship. Of course, I still love you. Dragon SpaceX nominal orbital insertion. Launch escape confirmation system is nominal orbital Dragon insertion. Captain, nominal stage orbital one insertion. Landing, deploy. And what you're seeing on your screen is a live view of our drone ship, where our first stage will be coming down. The question of signal, Bermuda. SpaceX Dragon, nominal trajectory. Looks like we lost that live view, but we'll wait for confirmation of that landing shortly here. Falcon 9 first stage is successfully landed. And there you can see on your screen, Falcon 9 has landed. This is the first Falcon 9 to carry humans to orbit, so very exciting for us. And as you can see on your right screen, Bob and Doug are still making their way to their targeted orbit. M1D to recovery one. So exciting today. <laughs> doesn't stop it does not stop all right we did we did hear again that call out good orbital insertion so that means falcon 9 and dragon right now exactly where they're supposed to be 
Then we'll need a FRC on recovery one. And it's right at about 12 minutes when Can Dragon will separate. Looks like we saw a zero G indicator floating around there. I know Bob and Doug owe us a little bit about what exactly that is that they brought up with them. <laughs> Dragon separation confirmed. Countdown one is unmerged. Separation confirmed. And there's that call out. Dragon is now officially making its way to the International Space Station today. Copy all. Oh, I'd like to be proud of you guys and the rest of the team. Uh, thank you so much for what you've uh, done for us today, putting America back into low Earth orbit up from the Florida coast. Copy all. Good luck. Godspeed. What a great day for the United States of America. It's been nine years since we've launched American astronauts on American rockets from American soil, and now we, we have done it again. Um, I wanna be clear, <laughs> the mission is not yet over. Uh, this is a test flight, um, and so we are at the beginning. But so far, um, everything has performed very, very well, and we are excited about the fact that Bob and Doug, our American heroes, are safely in orbit and on the way to the International Space Station. So I just want to say congratulations to the NASA team. Uh, congratulations to Kathy Leaders, who's been uh, on the NASA side leading um, our commercial crew program all along. And you and your team have done an absolutely marvelous job. And of course, Elon Musk and your team at SpaceX. Um, this, this launch represents the best of everything that America has to offer. Uh, but it also represents continuity of purpose. Um, I think to Charlie Bolden, my predecessor as the NASA administrator, who got this program off the ground when there wasn't a lot of political support. And now there is a lot of political support, but it's because we have had success after success. Um, and so this is, a, this is an important milestone for the nation. Um, and I am so honored and, and grateful to have really this brief moment in my life to, to be at the head of this agency. So. Um, what an amazing, amazing group of people that made all of this happen. Thank you. Thank you, Administrator. Next, Elon Musk. Oh, I'd like to just, uh, yeah, uh, acknowledge the incredible work of the people at SpaceX and, and NASA and everyone in, in uh, creating this technology and in, uh, the, in what has culminated in this incredible launch today of getting astronauts back to orbit after almost a decade. Um, I think this is something that should really get people, I mean, right on the heart of anyone who is, uh, has any spirit of exploration. And of course, we need to bring them back safely and we need to repeat these, these missions um, and have this be a regular occurrence. Um, so it's a lot of work to do, uh, but uh, it's, uh, it's just incredible. I, I think this is something that everyone, you know, it's, this is a, a craft made by humans, you know, for humans, this is like something that I think humanity should be excited about and proud of occurring on this day. Well, everyone, welcome aboard Dragon. Uh, my name is Doug. Next to me is uh, Bob. You probably know him. We're so glad to be with you uh, this evening and uh, welcome you on board uh, Dragon. Got a couple uh, things we want to talk about first before we kind of show you around. The first is uh, kind of a tradition we've had uh, over the years with spacecraft going way back to the uh, Mercury era. Uh, and then a tradition that's been carried on ever since with uh, all our space vehicles, including the Soyuz. Uh, we uh, were, were given the honor to name uh, this capsule. Without further ado, we would like to uh, welcome you aboard Capsule Endeavor. Uh, we chose Endeavor for a few reasons. One, because of this incredible Endeavor, uh, NASA, SpaceX, and the United States has been on uh, since the end of the shuttle program back in 2011. The other reason we named it uh, Endeavor is a little more personal to Bob and I. Uh, we both had our first flights on shuttle Endeavor 
and uh, it just meant so much to us to carry on that name. Uh, that's what we decided to go with. So we hope you enjoy that name, and once again, welcome on board. You can see the, the service section, Draco, is just doing all these very small, minor attitude corrections. Really, the, the autonomous docking system at work, making sure that the the uh, vestibule and the soft capture system is lined up with IDA2. It's the international docking adapter. Three meters to go. Two meters. We are inside the hands-off point, the chop, the crew hands-off point. One meter to go. Soft capture complete. Dragon in <laughs> Soft capture confirmed. Stand by for retraction and docking. And so the, the next step here is once, once the soft capture ring is retracted, there are uh, 12 latches that we refer to as hard capture latches. Um, those are what will really create that pressure tight seal between the Dragon spacecraft and the International Space Station. So once soft capture is complete and uh, I believe we'll get that call from, from our core here, Anna. Then uh, we'll, get, we'll get confirmation of hard capture. And uh, the crew, of, of course, aboard have, have this information on their displays. So they'll also see indication of hard capture complete. Dragon SpaceX, docking sequence is complete. Next Dragon, we copy docking complete to say that it's been a real honor to be just a small part of this uh, nine-year endeavor since the last time the United States spaceship has docked with the International Space Station.